Hello, this is Kairasis, and in this mechanics video, I'm going to be giving a full explanation of how secondary stat and tertiary stat diminishing returns work in both the Shadowlands and Dragonflight expansions, and how it affects your decision making. This includes an explanation of how diminishing returns work before Shadowlands, how the post-BFA diminishing return system affects secondary stats, and how the post-BFA system of diminishing returns affects tertiary stats. First, let's talk about the old system. Before we get started, we are only going to be looking at a handful of secondary stats. In Shadowlands, every 35 critical strike rating gives you 1% critical strike chance, every 33 haste rating gives you 1% haste, and every 40 versatility rating gives you 1% more damage and healing, as well as a 0.5% damage taken reduction effect. We will talk about mastery later and reference the rest of this information again, but for now, the main piece of information I'll be using is the fact that versatility provides a simple damage multiplier to use in upcoming examples. Before the updated diminishing return system was introduced into the game, the main thing we were concerned about was something I'm going to call natural diminishing returns, where a secondary stat gets relatively weaker the more of it you have. For example, if we go from a versatility bonus of 0% to a versatility bonus of 1%, our damage will increase by 1%, since we now do 101% of our baseline damage instead of 100% of our baseline damage. But in a second example, if we are going from a versatility bonus of 10% to a versatility bonus of 11%, our damage is actually only increasing by around 0.909%, since going up to 111% baseline damage from 110% baseline damage is a smaller relative increase. So, every point of versatility rating we gain will make future points of versatility less valuable, at least when we are only considering the damage increasing effect. Here is a graph of this effect showing how the relative increase in damage from versatility gets reduced as our versatility bonus gets higher and higher. So, if we had managed to accumulate at least 35% versatility, you can see that the natural diminishing returns have already made additional versatility around 25% less valuable than what versatility was originally worth back when we had no versatility at all. This effect puts some amount of pressure on players to more evenly distribute their stats, but if there are large enough disparities on how valuable certain secondary stat ratings are compared to others for your specialization, it was still very possible to be in a situation where the optimal strategy was to heavily invest in only one or two secondary stats. But before Shadowlands, this was the only thing we needed to worry about when it came to diminishing returns, for the most part. Now, let us start talking about the new system that was added in Shadowlands that puts harsher diminishing returns on all of our stats. And, at least so far in the Dragonflight Alpha, this system appears to be intact with little to no changes. In Shadowlands, and with no official communication from Blizzard as to why, a more forceful system was put in place to penalize stacking particular secondary stats. So now, while you start out by getting 1% critical strike chance for every 35 critical strike rating, there will be a point where this is no longer true. And that point begins after you increase any secondary stat by more than 30% through stat rating alone. Any source of these secondary stats that are not directly from rating are not counted towards this diminishing return threshold. For example, most critical strike buffs are not provided in the form of critical strike rating. Instead, they are generally provided in the form of an additive critical strike bonus. Furthermore, any baseline bonus towards secondary stats also do not count towards diminishing returns, such as the baseline 5% critical strike chance and the baseline mastery effect that we receive based on our specialization. Now, let us look at how our stats are actually getting diminished with the inclusion of this additional diminishing return system. 
The easiest way to explain how these diminishing returns work is to compare how much of a stat bonus we would receive without the diminishing return system to how much of a stat bonus we would receive with the diminishing return system. As previously explained, the new diminishing return system does not kick in until we reach a secondary stat bonus of 30% through rating. But, as soon as we cross the 30% threshold, all of our stat ratings above that point are subject to a stacking 10% penalty. The penalty increases by an additional 10% at unadjusted secondary stat bonuses of 40%, 50%, 60%, and 80%. And, while well, it is not shown in this graph, a final 100% penalty is applied after you have reached a 200% unadjusted stat bonus. If you look at the percentages in blue, you will see that your, what your adjusted secondary stat bonus is as you cross each of these thresholds. And, needless to say, most of these penalty ranges do not matter much since they are very difficult to reach through normal methods. So, let's compare the total effects of this diminishing return system with what we witnessed before Shadowlands with natural diminishing returns. Again, we see no difference up to a 30% stat bonus, but there are noticeable drops in versatility value at each penalty threshold when we compare the values with and without the updated diminishing return system. Again, it's hard to reach a lot of these later penalty ranges with the amount of secondary stat rating that we get from gear. But, even in the first two penalty ranges, the additional drop in value can be enough to discourage stacking too much of your strongest stats. Now, I ignored mastery before, but let's talk about it now that we have explained the general diminishing return system. While each specialization gets a different percentage bonus of their mastery for different amounts of mastery rating. For the purposes of secondary stats diminishing returns starting in Shadowlands, 35 mastery rating is always equivalent to a 1% bonus. And, similar to Critical Strike, any base mastery bonus you have does not contribute towards diminishing returns. In any case, since all secondary stats acquire 1% increases at different amounts of secondary stat ratings, this means that some secondary stats take more rating than others before they are subjected to diminishing returns, which can be seen in the following table. As such, versatility requires the most rating to begin seeing diminishing returns, and haste requires the least. Again, these rating thresholds should help to give you an idea of how impossible it is to actually get to any of these later penalty rating ranges in any normal situation. This can get a little more complicated when we look at how miscellaneous secondary stat bonuses are normally given to us. In particular, mastery bonuses are almost always provided in the form of mastery rating, while all other secondary stats are generally provided in ways that don't interact with the modern secondary stat diminishing returns system. As such, strong mastery effects, in particular, can very easily get penalized by the secondary stat diminishing returns system. But beyond that, this pretty much covers everything to do with secondary stat diminishing returns. As such, the only main topic left to cover is how diminishing return system interacts with our tertiary stats, so let's get started on that. For the record, the current Shadowlands rating conversions for tertiary stats are 21 rating for every 1% of leech, 14 rating for every 1% of avoidance, and 10 rating for every 1% of movement speed. Similar to secondary stat diminishing returns, tertiary stat diminishing returns will only consider bonuses that are being provided directly from rating. As for the diminishing return system itself, tertiary stats use almost exactly the same system as secondary stats, except the penalties and thresholds themselves are different. With tertiary stats, we begin to see the penalties kick in at unadjusted bonuses of 10%, 15%, and 20%. And, in addition to these lower thresholds, the penalty increases in 20% increments instead of 10% increments. Again, the percentages in blue show the adjusted tertiary stat bonuses at each penalty threshold. 
It's also worth noting that any old hard caps that used to be in the game for tertiary stats before Shadowlands no longer exist and were fully replaced by the system. In particular, there used to be a hard cap of 20% on avoidance, while speed used to have its own unique diminishing returns formula. For further reference, here is an additional table showing how much rating you need before you start passing penalty thresholds for each tertiary stat. While tertiary stats are a lot more difficult to get, it is also a lot easier to run into these penalties with enough tertiary stats on gear. In conclusion, we talked about stat considerations before Shadowlands. We detail exactly how st stat diminishing return systems work since Shadowlands began, and we reviewed the differences between secondary stat and tertiary stat diminishing returns. If you would like to make it easier for other people to find this content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, if there are any additional topics you would like to see in the future, or if you have any opinions of your own about the Diminishing Returns system, leave a comment below. I can be contacted through Discord, and my information can be found in the video description below. In the meantime, good luck, and have fun.